Hey guys, guess who it is? It's me, Onika. I know I've been gone for some time and I'm sorry about that, but I am back and um, yeah, so my biggest fear right now is knowing how to record a YouTube video. I haven't touched my camera or my YouTube equipment in like some time, so I'm like, how do you record a YouTube video? I don't know. So I hopefully that, hopefully I could get this video done in one take and it turns out good. So for today's video, I'm going to do a January favorite, so I'm super excited to share with you guys what I've been loving for January. Some of the stuff rolled over from December, but um, yeah. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get right into the video. There's no need to talk or say anything more because yeah. So by the looks of all my January favorite, I have a lot of skincare stuff, so I'm going to start off with that. So it's going to be skincare and body care and stuff like that, so I'm going to start off with those items first. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is the body butter that I've been loving. This this winter this January I don't know if you guys live in Chicago if you guys are watching this and you guys live in Chicago you guys know that this is this has been the most intense winter ever and you need some hydration to your skin so I'm gonna start off with this Shea body butter and it's from tree hot and um, I think I got this um, for eight dollars off of Amazon and I think this is more of a affordable brand um, and it smells really good it's a thick consistency as you guys can see I'm almost done with this bottle and um, yeah this is what I've been loving this is a 24 hour intense hydration and it's been hydrating my skin with this crazy Chicago winter because my skin gets super dry and flaky and we don't like that so in December I went back home to um, my birth country and my cousin had a wedding and uh, before I left I wanted to pick up a few um, of their um, scented oil roll-on perfume that they sell on the side of the streets I don't know um, and I picked up um, three so I picked up three of oh I'm gonna drop that so I picked up three of their scented roll-on perfume um, and um, yeah I'm addicted to these things and these smell so good and um, yeah and I think that I'm addicted to these scented oils um, instead of regular perfume I just want to mention that um, and yeah so on to skincare this is what I love the most I love talking about skincare um, and um, yeah so I'm gonna start off in order I guess of how I normally do my skincare routine and I'm gonna start off with um, first of all taking off your makeup and I am gonna mention that for the month of January I've been loving the Shea Moisture um, makeup remover um, facial wipe here um, this is the um, African black soap clarifying facial wipe with tea tree oil and something that I cannot pronounce and this is more of for a um, skin type more of like a balancing skin type so if you have like oily slash combination skin um, you probably use something that's more of a balancing thing I don't know how to explain that um, instead of using um, something that would dry out your oily skin you use something that will balance it so it doesn't produce more oil so that's why I like this um, and yeah this is cruelty free um, and fair trade organic and all that stuff and um, yeah like I've been loving their African black soap line and you guys are gonna see I'm gonna mention a lot of stuff that they own in this line um, so yeah so this is my makeup wipe that I've been loving to take off my makeup it does a good job and I feel like I take off more makeup with one wipe than I would with any other wipe uh, makeup removal wipes and stuff like that so once I you know take off my makeup and um, use my makeup wipes I like to go in and cleanse I have two cleansers I'm gonna mention and they're both from Shea Moisture and they're the um, African black soap line um, and yeah so the first thing that I the first one I purchased was uh, this one this is more of their foam and liquid uh, face wash and this one is bamboo charcoal de detoxifying foam and face wash with aloe and I also have the soap and I'm not sure what the formal name is but this also is just basically the soap form of this I'm pretty sure this is more of like a gentle clean and I feel like this get down to the pores and clean your face really good and I love them both as you guys can see I used up a lot of this already um, and yeah so they're both good and this is also a um, body bar too um, I have more coming in the mail so this one is for my face and I'm gonna have more coming in the mail that I'm gonna actually try and use it as um, a body bar and see if I like it as a body bar also my favorite cleansing um what do you call it 
cleansing wash is the um, African black soap cleanser wash. I'm going to put a picture up right here, but I have it in the shower. I'm too lazy to get it. It also is a good, um, what do you call it? body wash and I love it like I told you guys I'm addicted to the Shea Moisture African black soap line it's so good and I love it and um, yeah so on to let's see on to uh, mask the mask that I've been loving is this mask right here and this is the formula 1006 mask um, this is the total takeaway skin purifying bubbly mask and I absolutely love it because it's a high I mean oxygen mask so like you put it on and you feel like that oxygen in your pores are opening and it's getting all that gross stuff out um, and yeah so I like this and I've been using this a lot um, and uh, yeah this is my favorite mask that I've been loving in January slash December and um, yeah I can't get enough of this um, so let's see okay so I'm gonna mention this it's kind of embarrassing I think but you know whatever um, sometimes it happens and you just gotta deal with it and it's this Nair facial um, cream and this is what I use to get rid of my stash up here but um yeah so this is what I've been using I like this one so much better than a Sally Hansen I think it does a better job and um yeah this is what I use to get rid of that you know embarrassing uh, stash up there so yeah and this one has sweet almond oil and it's for your face chin upper lip and all that stuff so yeah it does everything and I love it so um, after I've done all that um, this is like half of my skincare routine I like to go in with a moisturizer and this is the moisturizer that I've been loving and this is from the Shea Moisture um, African Black Soap Line also and this is their balancing moisturizer I feel like I've been using so much matte stuff in my life that I didn't understand that it was making me more oily than using something that is balancing for my skin. So it's like between oily slash combination, for oily slash combination skin, you want to use something balancing so your skin doesn't produce so much oil by using something that's too, uh, too matte. So I have this one right here and this is like my um, third or second, no, I think this is like my third bottle of this stuff and it's so good. I love it and it smells so good. Um, this is for, it says blemish and pore skin. It has something extract and tea tree oil. And um, yeah, so I love this. So also I would like to mention my favorite lip balm. And this is the Nivea lip balm. It's this one right here. And I've been loving this. And yeah, this is what I use for my lip balm. I just wanted to toss it in there. I feel like I never talk about my um, lip balms that I've been loving. I've been using. So I want to mention this and throw that in there. So on to makeup and um, the foundations that I've been loving for the month of January are two foundations that I mix together. I don't use them on their own. I mix them together and it's the Clinique um, Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup um, right here in the shade Sienna 29 and I also have the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir in the shade 775. So I've been using these con oh, not concealers. I've been using these foundations together and I like the way that it looks on my skin. Like it looks super like flawless airbrush. Like it looks really good guys and I love them together. This is what I wear when I want to look, you know, good. <laughs> So on to, oh, I went straight to foundation. I forgot to mention the primer. I think I mentioned this before, but if I haven't, the primer I've been loving is this Becca Poreless Primer. This has been doing justice to your girl's oily skin. Um, and yeah, so this is what I've been loving. I got finally got the full size of the bottle. And um, yeah. Mm. Okay, so on to um, concealers. <clears throat> so the concealers that I've been loving for the month of January um, is these Maybelline concealers right here um, and yeah so the first concealer so I thought that this caramel concealer will be my skin shade to highlight but it's too bright so I end up getting the um, hazelnut one and these are the concealers this is caramel and this is hazelnut and this is the uh, Maybelline instant age rewind concealer everyone talks about these these are so good I love them um, and yeah so on to brows you guys know that I was a ride or die for the Colourpop brow pencil um, but we have a, another competitor and it's the Becca nope a lot is the benefit oh my god benefit precisely my brow pencil this is the sample size um, I have it in the shade 
Oh, 4.5. I think I could go a little bit darker, probably a 5 in this shade. Like, I'm almost done. Like, this is a sample. It's this small. But, um, yeah, I think I like this um, brow pencil. Um, I don't like it on its own. I still use the um, ColourPop brow pencil. I use that to, um, what do I use that to? I use that to outline the outside of my brows. Use this to fill it in. And, um, yeah, that's how my brows look. I just got them freshly waxed, and I think they look really good. And um, yeah, so we got a competitor. Watch out. Um, so going on to the next thing that I'm going to mention is the uh, Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. You guys know I mentioned this before. I think I mentioned this before. Um, but I mentioned the rose gold one. I have the topaz one, the molten topaz one. And this is more of the golden one. And I absolutely love this one. Also, this is the one I'm wearing right now. If you guys can see that, um, I'm using this. I'm wearing this one. But then on top of that, I'm also using the rose gold one. And I love this one too. Like, I'm just like, this is the best highlighter. I don't think you could get any better than this with a drugstore highlighter. And um, yeah, this is the molten topaz one. This is more of a golden um bronze highlighter um so on to um setting spray you guys know i mentioned this one before and my one of my favorite setting spray is the urban dk all nighter setting spray i have this one in the full size i had the full size i had the i had the i'm sorry i have this in the sample size i had the sample size when i started trying it out then i got the full size now i'm back with the sample size i use this for traveling this is what I had to pack for traveling because the next setting spray I'm going to mention I couldn't travel with it and this is the morphe continuous and set continuous setting spray if you guys haven't tried this you guys should go ahead and try this um, I feel like everyone should go ahead and try this this is the best like system of setting spray and I think it does a good job like my sister was like are you gonna done um, setting your makeup because I can just go back and just like set my makeup until I leave the house like these two are so good I think I like them together I like to use this one before like you know I do like any makeup stuff I like to finish with this one and this is the continuous setting spray like it's so like finely missed I don't know if you guys can see that and I absolutely love it I need more it's kind of empty in there um and yeah um I think that's it guys I went through this pretty fast oh no I lied I'm gonna go back to skincare one of the skincare things that I've been loving, I had this for a while, but I guess I'm going to mention this now, is this um, system right here. And this is an extraction system, which means you're going to extract any pimples or gross stuff that's on your face that you want to get off and get out. And it just comes with a whole bunch of like extraction tools to get all that gunk out. And I use this a lot on the basis. If not, I'm going to have like really gross, huge pimples. And I just use that to get any like blackheads or whiteheads or whatever on my face and um, yeah I use this pretty religiously because I have to if not I'm gonna have like really huge pimples so yeah okay guys so this is it this is my January slash some of December favorites I know it's not a lot but it's what I've been loving um, and I haven't bought makeup or skincare items since I don't know guys it's really sad um, and if you guys want to send me some list of makeup that I should get and should buy I think you guys should leave that in the comments and let me know and um, yeah I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop some coins on Alta soon so let me know if you guys want to see a makeup haul let me know what I should get and um, yeah and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video so yeah <laughs> bye guys